Hi, this is Michael with Office Nifty. In this video, I'll show you how to use a neat feature called conditional formatting in LibreOffice Calc. With it, you can easily check various information visually in your spreadsheet. I have here a spreadsheet of just some customer information with the product they purchased, the date, and the price. All this data I just made up myself for the sake of this example. But let's go ahead and look through a few different types of conditional formatting that's available to us. So we'll find that under Format, Conditional, and we see here there are several choices of condition, color scale, data bar, icon set, and date. I'll go ahead and go through each of these five examples in this video with you. So for condition, let's go in and take a look. In this pop-up window, we get to set our condition and apply a style to it. So here, what I'd like to do is anything that is greater than $80, I'll give it a different style. In Calc, we have a lot of presets for styles already. As we can see, we can go through them. And if some of them are interesting to you, you could definitely try it out and apply them. For me, what I want to get at is to have the background color a certain color so that it stands out when I'm looking at it. So let's go in and click a new style. I need to make sure that the format is how I like it to be. There's a lot of choices up here for you know, numbers, font, effects, etc. For number, I just want to make sure that it stays the same as what I already have, which is a currency. And I want to apply a background color to it. So in the background tab, I'll go ahead and click color. And I'll apply a sort of a green color to it. So I'll go ahead and click here. I think this looks good. And I'll click OK. So now anything greater than 80 value would take the format that I just set for it. And here I can add more conditions. In this example, I want maybe any value that is less than 60. I'll apply a background color to it. Go ahead, go to new style. Background, I could set a color. Maybe I'll pick like a red red looking color and I'll check the numbers just make sure that it's a currency okay so I clicked OK for this cell actually no formatting was applied the reason is because it actually didn't fall within the range of what I had set we can do something called a clone formatting I can go ahead and click this icon and then apply it to the cells or the range that I want you see there, it basically copy and pasted down the formatting in the range that I've selected. And the conditional formatting is now applied. Anything that is above $80 shows up with a green background. And anything below $60 has a pinkish background. Now, I'm not very good at color coordination. I would probably adjust this to make it look a little better. But at least you see a quick example of what conditional formatting can do in a spreadsheet. So to undo the conditional formatting, get rid of what I had applied. So for condition one and two, I could just delete condition two, and then I'll click delete again, click OK, and now there is no conditional formatting applied anymore. Now let's go to the next conditional formatting option, which is color scale. Here they already have some preset colors for me. I'll just leave it as is for now. I'll use the default and just hit OK. So here the formatting is applied and essentially anything that's red is on the lower spectrum and anything that's green is on the higher spectrum. Yellow or orange is more towards the median. I personally don't like this too much, but it is it could be useful. I just think there's a lot of colors to it but it does definitely give it a lot of color without doing much work. So this applies some background color formatting by default on its own and comes out with a similar effect as to what I was trying to do. But whether this looks any better or not, that's up to you. So I'll go ahead and just undo that. 
Now we can go ahead and take a look at the third conditional formatting option. We go ahead and select the range of what I want to. So we can go ahead and take a look at data bar. By default, there's a minimum and a maximum. I'll just leave it as automatic for now. I'll just leave everything at the default options and click OK. So that's pretty cool. This is what data bar looks like. Essentially, it goes through the range and for the values, it would set a blue bar to it depending on how high it is. As we see, for $93, almost fills the whole cell. Whereas for $67, it's closer to a halfway. For $58, it's even closer to halfway. So this is neat as well. Aesthetically, we can see quickly which values are higher and which are lower in the range. And it's not too many colors at once, but still pretty useful to get some significant information quickly. I'll go ahead and undo the formatting. And let's take a look at the fourth conditional formatting option. And it is the icon set. Now here's a pop-up and we see some arrows on the left and this drop down there's actually a lot of presets as well as to what we could use for the icons example so i'll go ahead and pick stars and we have to put in some values here so this measures a percent i'll change it to a value if anything over let's say 70 and then i'll change this to value of anything over 90. now click ok so here it actually populated some stars for me, which is pretty neat. Now whether this looks good or useful or not, I'll leave it up to you. But I think it's pretty neat. There are different other icon sets we could have used and you can try them out for yourself. Now let's undo that and go to the fifth conditional formatting option. That has to do with dates. Basically the date option is to allow us to work with dates. We have a pop-up here. Let's see the presets they provide for us. I could check if a date is today or various type of range. I'll go ahead and just leave it as today and I can apply a style. So I could perhaps make it stand out with, with a background color again. I'll make it green and I'll make sure that it's in a different way and it is okay. So that's applied to this first cell. I'll go ahead and copy the format down. Now it's applied. Today's day is March 8th, and so the background color has changed to green. And so that's it. I quickly went through the five different conditional formatting options and illustrated in this video. As you can see, it's quite useful and it helps to add visualization in certain aesthetic to allow you to have a little more pizzazz in your spreadsheet, but more importantly also to get more information quickly, especially when you're trying to do a presentation or just for your own reference that when you look in the future at your own spreadsheet, you can quickly look at the pertinent information that you want to stand out. Feel free to take a look at the video description below for more information about conditional formatting and thank you for watching this video. As always, stay nifty.